And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. Do you remember the scene from the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Whatever happened to that lion and Rexy? Well, the latest motion comic lets us know. Well, that was a mess to clean up this morning. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what those cats ate yesterday, but... I don't know, maybe they ate some of your face. I mean, dude, you look rough. Whoa. <laughs> Why does a lion's mouth look like a butthole breaking wind? I mean, the clip they had before was more realistic. Not everything on these models need to be moving. Jeez. Drink rifles, let's go! That guy just aged like 20 years? I feel like this should be a PSA to not do drugs. What am I talking about? Maybe the entire Jurassic Park franchise should be a PSA to not do drugs, since like 90% of the population of humans are beyond stupid. You know, I like how they just snuck that platform in there, like the humans that are standing on it were there all along. The lighting isn't even done correctly, so it looks like the humans are actually standing on the primary layer of Photoshop. Emergency response. This is Rachel in the Lion Habitat. We've got a code red here. I repeat, a code red. Over. We've got a team en route. Do you need an ambulance? Over. Uh, probably. Over. I'm gonna need some more information. It's a dinosaur! <sighs> Shouldn't they know this? I mean, Rexy the Tyrannosaurus Rex is huge. It's daytime. If we're to believe that these motion comics are the actual sequels of each other, let's just pretend this one came after the first two that we reviewed, then these clips were well after the events of the Fallen Kingdom. At least like a few weeks. Nobody saw Tyrannosaurus Rex in broad daylight making its way to the zoo. Okay, let's be fair and say that Rexy took a route through the forest and just avoided detection. If this is taking place weeks later, after having been alerted that the dinosaurs are roaming free all over the place, first of all, wouldn't they track the T-Rex with all the sorts of tech and tracking animals that we have that are well equipped for this kind of job? Wouldn't they use those, you know, for something that's this big and lumbering and confused as to where it is? Second of all, old girl needs to eat. Now granted, Rexy probably on Isla Nublar had her fair share of going without food for several days, but she would definitely need to be near a water source. So that's another clue, finding a water source near the focal point from which the dinosaurs spread out. Just my Neanderthal thoughts. Over. Did you say a dinosaur? Over. I'm sorry, but every time I see this guy, he looks worse and worse. Why is he here? It makes me super uncomfortable. Rexy, that tongue action. Is this woman pregnant and she's pushing a baby carriage? It just looks like she's pregnant, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's just... Isn't that a newborn baby? How is she? Okay, whatever. I, I don't know why this is so funny, but bro, look at her face. She looks like two fingers are holding it from the other side. Are you sure they're not all running from her? Jesus Christ, creepy pasta much? And I understand why the people aren't touching the ground because they're trying to convey that they're running and usually that's better done when they're hanging in midair. But... But why the hell is the carriage not touching the ground? <laughs> How does that work? I know it's just a motion comic and I love Jurassic World, trust me, but good grief. It's like they rush through this. Look, besides my griping, don't get me wrong, I'm totally enjoying this. <laughs> Is they on route? Yes, sir! We're, we're evidently not the first to spot our uninvited guests. This zoo obviously administers Xanax to their residents. Why in the hell are the lions so chill? Military planes and all sorts of noise from above, in addition to the screaming T-Rex, inundates the air. The lioness and her kids are just like, we're going to bed now. Like, what the hell is that? What a beautiful shot of Rexy. 
I'm sorry, what the hell is going on with the male lion? What is he supposed to be doing? Why is he not going inside with the other lions? Did he not take his medication? He is legit the only animal in the entire zoo who is actually concerned. Oh my god, you see what I'm talking about? What was the purpose of that? <laughs> oh my god, I, ca I cannot. Were they trying to catch her with that thing? Was it supposed to be a distraction? And don't tell me it was, because they almost went down with it. I mean, what the hell? I understand human logic doesn't make sense in the movies. But Jesus Christ, be a little tad bit generous in giving them common sense in the comics. It's like the creators are doing this on purpose. We need to get some control here. I'm not sure how much control we'll get, but I'll take anything right now. See if those birds can force it down into the ravine and get it away from the population. We're gonna need to requisition a few more TIR systems. Okay, at least she looks a little bit better there. We'll continue to track sightings of the T-Rex. How about you continue to try and get some prescription glasses because you always have this face on you like you can't see Jack. <laughs> the fuck? I'm sorry. I just I can't with this anymore. We have some breaking news of a possible dino encounter in Nevada. Let's go to our affiliate in Las Vegas, Julia. Hi, Rebecca. I've just rushed over from Bank Odin in Valhalla. This is the most normal looking human being I've seen so far. Hi, Rebecca. I've just rushed over from an event as I had to see this for myself. They've become quite the tourist attraction. Thanks, Julia. Authorities are trying to confirm if these are the same pteranodon that were seen- Okay, my dude. They need to tone it down with her eyes, like, a lot. Diving into Lake Mead earlier this week. And we have some eyewitness footage from Las Vegas. You know what I'm really expecting? For this guy to drop and crack his skull on the pavement below, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna happen. They don't even have to show it, just- just allude to it, you know? So it flew him all the way over to perfectly land him in the water, but it's a fountain, so it should be shallow. So he should be dead. That's a good way to allude to it. There you go. We can confirm that the flying creatures just spotted over the Vegas Strip are in fact pteranodons and are extremely dangerous. We'll continue to report on dinosaur sightings around the world. Ah, oh, boy, this is comedy gold. I really enjoy this and I don't know how much they're going to reveal before Jurassic World 3, but I'm eager to see where this goes because I am just enjoying the ridiculousness of it all. Loving it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been Ulturi. You ask, we answer.